Welcome everyone to this Lightboard session where we're going to learn a little bit more about vSAN. Uh, my name is Pete Keeler and I'm a staff a technical marketing architect here at VMware. My name is John Nicholson. I'm also a staff technical marketing architect here at VMware on the vSAN product team. All right, John, so we're going to help answer that question. What is vSAN? So vSAN is a distributed storage solution. It lets you aggregate storage devices that are physically placed on the host um, and create a single shared data store across the entire cluster based on that. It lets you aggregate the performance and capacity of these devices and provide storage to virtual machines. Now that, that storage, how we uh, place it and how we manage the, the protection and the performance and data services of that, um, it's gonna be chunked down to these components, but the placement of that and what services are applied is controlled through a policy. And so, rather than traditionally where we would have had a LUN that had specific capabilities coming from the array, and you'd have to go vMotion or place that VM there. Um, instead, these unique policies that are tagged to each virtual machine or virtual disk will, will uh, design the construct of the data placement underneath. Um, this is very much a virtual machine uh, centric provisioning system. And if there's any deviations of that policy, maybe we have a failure, something's happened where it can't substantiate it, we'll get an alert and it'll show us what it's doing to mitigate um, that difference in policy. Yeah, one of the uh, unique features about vSAN is, is the ability for us to really accommodate for change in the data center. So just as John mentioned here, we are able to aggregate these storage devices into a single data store so that you can store all the VMs that you have in your environment that are running in that vSphere cluster. Uh, but what is really unique about this is if you have the need to grow that uh, data store in any sort of way. So in this case, we can add an, an additional host. And this is going to add the, the respective resources uh, that we would have on this host so that the data store extends uh, to include all of the hosts within the vSAN cluster. So that's an example of scaling out, uh, which shows a tremendous level of flexibility. You can also add um, additional storage devices within each host, which would be scaling up. And that's that shows a lot of flexibility as well. Yeah, and being able to, to scale, so to speak, in 3D, being able to add capacity, add additional compute, add, add additional slots for additional capacity, um, this helps you you know, handle scaling in environments where you know maybe up front you had an idea what your initial workload would be, but workloads are dynamic. New mm -hmm. workloads come into the data center. Um, being at vSAN is flexible and it's not creating additional islands. This is a single data store that is expanding to handle this. One of the things that I think uh, many of our customers really appreciate is that uh, this is a fully distributed storage system built right into the hypervisor. So you already have the software, you already know how to run vCenter server. vCenter server is going to be that uh, management plane that you're going to interact with. Uh, vSAN. So in this case, you're using that, that same tool, vCenter Server, and you will go through and you'll be able to monitor uh, the uh, performance and the availability of these VMs and make uh, changes to storage policies. It's all right there within the actual hypervisor. So if you'd like to learn more about vSAN and all of the capabilities uh, and, and uh, best practices in your environment, uh, feel free to go out to core.vmware.com. Uh, we have a number of different resources that show uh, the design, operation, and optimization of vSAN in your environment. Uh, thank you very much.